This is Tailgate Talk, presented by Tarpon Blue. Let's take a ride. In this series, we're going to show you everything Texas and its surrounding southern states has to offer, right here from our very own tailgate. We'll take you from life on the farm and the ranch to the big city lights. This is Tailgate Talk. Come along for the ride. Hello everybody, welcome to Tailgate Talk. This is Joey Van Hecke, I'm Dean Wallace, and we are here in God's country, Hondo, Texas, with Will and Les at Primo Processing. And if you like hunting, cooking, meat, or, or just eating in general, this is the place you need to be. So Will, this, this store is great, looking around at, at all the stuff you've got decorated in here. How, how did all this start? Well, there's four of us that started the business back in 2018, and we kind of, we knew there was a need in this community for somebody that did the processing correctly. We wanted it done a certain way, and uh, that was, you know, making sure everything is single batch so that you get your deer back. Uh, the vacuum sealing that we do, the labeling that we do, that way when you pull something out of the freezer, you know exactly what you're eating, whether it's a black buck antelope or a white-tailed deer. Uh, the sausage recipes that we have, they're old uh, recipes that have come down through the families and they've kind of been perfected over the years and every now and then we tweak something here and there. Um, but we truly believe that our product is good and we like it. We, we do the stuff that we like to eat. So. so I really like something you said there and I know people always think about this when you take something to a processor is, am I getting my deer back? Or is it mine and yours and theirs and a big mix? So this whole facility was built on that principle that really? we wanted to get your meat back to you. So when you check in your deer, your order gets created. When it goes on the rail, it goes all the way to the back, your order gets pulled. When you're, you're on the cutting table and all of your meat gets divvied up into steaks and hamburger and sausage products, everything is single batch. So even down to your sausage. When we run your sausage, we don't put it all into a big pile and then you get somebody's sausage. Right. You get your product back. So That's if awesome. you take really good care of your meat, you're getting it back. If you don't take good care of your meat, you're also getting That's your meat right. back. So. <laughs> That's good. So if we, if we bring an animal here, how does, how does the process work? I mean, what, can you kind of walk us through what we need to do? Sure, sure. So we'll go back to the check-in office here in a little bit, and I'll show you a little bit of how that works. Uh, we've got a computer program uh, that we run now that saves all of your data in it. So say you've processed with us in years past, we can pull up previous orders, uh, figure out what you did before, whether you wanted that or you wanted to tweak something new, or we can, if you're a new person, I'll show you how we can go through that system. Um, and then all of that gets saved into our, into our database, and then it also spits out a tag uh, that goes on your animal that will have your customer order number, your information, um, and then when it goes to the back, a ticket gets created. Um, so say you wanted uh, cutlets out of your back strap, and you wanted your tenderloins whole, you wanted smoked link jalapeno cheese made out of your grind, and then the rest in a hamburger, all that gets done correctly off of that cut sheet. All right, Will, so you made a comment about the packaging earlier. That's something that, from my standpoint, I really like. Uh, you know, you bring in some animals here, like Will said, black bug, axis, whitetail. On these bigger corporate groups, you might have five or six different species, and the packaging makes it really nice because it has the cut, the species, the hunter's name, and then if it's a business, the business can put their name on there. Right. And that's something that I don't know anybody else that does that. And just the ability to go pull package out and it says backstrap on it or hamburger meat or whatever it is and the species, that's another thing that I don't know many other processors that are taking the time to take that extra step. So that's something that I really like about it. Well, we appreciate that. I, I agree completely. I mean, that's that was one of the big things that we started with this deal is we wanted the packaging to look really good. And so when you pull something out of the freezer, you know exactly what it is. And, you know, it, it even brings back memories, you know, like, oh, man, this was on that hunt with so-and-so, you know, because there's their logo or whatever. And then also for the businesses, it's... it's advertising because it's on the packaging 
technically it's a write-off, so a sure. lot of them, you know, right. take so advantage of that. Stay so. on people's mind, right? So you right. can throw your logo on there, give it some Christmas presents, or you can put your family name on there, whatever you want. Right. Like, I know that's something that I've done personally is take, you know, like summer sausage or dried sausage and put together little baskets before the holidays and, you know, you can go out and give that to your customers and it's not a lot, but I mean, it's something they, they appreciate, they remember, and you know, absolutely it's something different. I yes, remember sir. that on Christmas. Exactly. <laughs> uh, just another quick question, Will. What about, like, from when y'all started, I know you said y'all started in a barn, basically. Yeah. What was the, what was the goal then? So, back then, there was a, a group of us, a big group of us that got together, and we made sausage every year, and me and Josh kind of came into the Fawn, Gillum, and there were several other families that were together, and uh, they would all make uh, deer sausage around this time of the year, and uh, that got carried over to, hey, why don't we start up a processing company that, you know, we can make sure that we do everything the right way, single batch everything. We'll make sure we'll do uh, vacuum sealing because that's everybody vacuum seals these days. But a few years ago, you were still getting a lot of processing orders in paper bags, right? Well, if you don't use it within a month or two, it's freezer burn. It's bad. Our stuff, because it's vacuum sealed, high quality, it'll last three or four years. So I'm, I'm still eating stuff out of my freezer from like three years ago. Oh. And, you, and you don't just make things for and people bring in, right? You do some custom work. And have we do. Out here front for, for sale yes sir and we do domestic kill so we do some some hogs and, and some beef um, through the off season so October through February that's that's deer season so we're very busy with that but during the off season we do custom slaughter um, and we don't do a ton of it um, but you know we do try to do about three a day um, then also in a market we have uh, regular beef and pork products that we make um, and we have an online store now as well so any of the products that you see up here, you can go on to primoprocessing.com and have it delivered to your door. So, and pretty cool. Tell me about Parisa. I mean, this is something that, me personally, I've only seen in this area ever. That's, I don't know anywhere else you can get it. That's the only place you find it. So it's an Alsatian recipe. Um, that's kind of the the, uh, the backstory on it. But yeah, you really only find it in Medina County. There's only a few people around here that make it. It has to be made fresh, has to be super lean. That's one thing that most people mess up if they do try making it is they try to use something that's got too much fat in it. If you yeah. use a really lean meat and then it's not cooked, but it's cured with onion and jalapeno juice. And of course, we've kind of got our proprietary recipe that we've tweaked over the last few years and it was an old family recipe that then got tweaked, so. Um, and I know pe people, the first time they hear about that, they're always a little bit like, uncooked meat, right? Right, yeah. But it is outstanding. You've never had Parisa, you got to try it. It's good stuff. It's good What's stuff. another specialty product you'll make that you don't really see in other places? Our dry sausage, uh, the way that we do our dry sausage, it's not ever cooked. So it's air dried and then smoked and then, you know, and, and, uh, dehydrated, basically. Um, that's, that's a product that was an old family recipe. Um, most of the rest of our products are probably ones that you see in most processors, you know, your jerky, your summer sausage, your smoke link. Um, Parisa is kind of the, the one thing that you don't find anywhere else, I guess, around right. here. Um, the Rattler. That's something the Rattler. That's kind of yeah, so unique. I think that was a Josh brainchild, probably, but basically what it is is you take part of a back strap, fillet it down the middle, cream cheese, seasoning, and then wrapped in bacon. And they're Pretty fantastic. I should not have come here hungry. I can tell you that. <laughs> well, we've actually got some products out there on the grill. We're gonna go try here tomorrow. Oh, that's so. great. All right, well, let's go check it out. Cool. So after the order gets created, so this is for hamburger for beef. So all these labels get pre-generated for them, depending on how much they weigh in on the front, so that all that stays together. And as they come out of the cut room there, then they'll come into here and he's doing the grinding and portioning. They'll all get done in the meat office. This is the, the seasoning room. So we've got one guy that back here and this is all he does is he mixes seasoning. 
So that's that's his one and only job. When these orders come through, he, he knows I need to make this much smoke link, jalapeno cheese, I need to make this much pan sausage, and they're all different ingredients. And uh, we, we try to keep all this stuff very fresh. Obviously, we go through a ton of it, so it's easy to, for us yeah. to keep it fresh. This so. is the secret stuff right yeah. here. So this is, a, this is a cooker right here. This is some uh, snack sticks that we have going on right now. So this is a vacuum sealer that we use. We've got one over there and one over here. Say hi, David. Hi. This is our main man right here. He's the, the seasoning champion. He knows, knows, he knows every secret that Primo has for seasoning. <laughs> that looks awesome. So these are, these are orders that are already done. And you can see on the outside it has a person's name. This is a beef order. And then inside, the New York strips. That all goes out to the freezer. So something else, Will, I thought was really unique is the fact that you guys are willing to ship products. So if somebody's here from, from another state and they're hunting in South Texas and they want, don't want to carry it, right. they can come here and get it processed. Ship. We have tons of out-of-state clients, and yes, we do. We probably ship more than anybody else does around. Uh, we, uh, bless knows, we we ship out a lot of product when it comes into deer season. Uh, our boxes that we use uh, are very uh, tight cell foam boxes, and then we typically ship with ice packs on top of it, uh, second day air, and pretty much can go anywhere in the country with it. So if we decide we want to have some of that barista for our Christmas party, we can, you, we can do that. Yeah, right. it's it's best fresh, uh, but we can freeze it and send it to you. Yeah, awesome. for sure. And then also on our online store, we've got all of our, our dry products. You buy fifty bucks or more, that, they'll ship free. Awesome. Um, there's uh, some assortment boxes on there that also uh, have free shipping. Um, so check those out if if you all have a chance to That's look great. up primo-processing.com. Good deal. Um, another thing cool that we're doing this year is our client info forms. Uh, so we've got a QR code right there that you can scan with your phone. So if you're bringing an animal into us, you can actually pull it up on our on your phone. You can enter all the data in there, and then boom, it goes right into Man, our system. Making it easy so, for everybody. Yeah, good. yeah. Uh, I have a little trouble with the technology stuff, but we're <laughs> we're working through that. So good, good. So. I just want to say thank you. We really appreciate you having us out. Is is there? Uh, you talked about the online store. How else can people find you? Are you social media? And we also have Facebook and Instagram. You can check us out. Normally, we've got something that goes up about every day on our social media account. Um, but yeah, look us up on the uh, uh, primo-processing.com, or you can always call the store. Call us. You'll probably talk to Les or somebody else around here that's knowledgeable about uh, everything that we do and. Uh, don't be scared to call us and ask us for something because we can typically do it. So. Great, great. Well, we know how to get a hold of you online, but really, if, if you want to see a great place in action and, and, and come see what all they have to offer, it's worth the drive. So we appreciate it and uh, just want to say thank you. And we'll see you next time on Tailgate Talk. Thanks for tuning in today. And thank you to our guests for sharing their story. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on Tailgate Talk. We'll tell you things.